we're going to build a tower into the sky today. And we do that through an elaborate system of both tapping and slaves. The more we tap, the more our stockpile builds up. As they build up, I can send them over to our little brick mason. When I want him to work faster, I can tap on him too. From there, our other little weirdo friend comes over with a sled and starts bringing them over to our foundation. One by one, we're gonna build something amazing. Also, when I want, I can sell bricks for 5 coins each or just individual stones for 1 coin each. Coins are simply used for upgrading any of these processes, which obviously won't be necessary, but we'll probably obviously still do that anyway. So we'll tap away, say, 30 stones. We'll put 30 stones over to that idiot. And then we'll have him hurrying up as much as possible. Then I can sell 3 bricks for whatever we just got. Now I can upgrade my quarry, so I get 1.65 taps per tap. We've almost got two layers of foundation down already too. And I just realized that I can just hold this down to transfer the stones over, so that's a lot quicker. It's not actually a clicking game, it's a holding game. As in, I'm holding these guys hostage until my tower is done. But I need to make sure he has a nice big uh, pile of stones to work on. Wow, we, yeah, this actually goes a lot faster when I do it this way. But this isn't quick enough, we're gonna go to the market really quick and sell all we can. And I got a free gift of 50 coins. I'm gonna upgrade the bricks producer because he seems to be the slowest part of this so far. Mining the stones doesn't take that long. The little sled guy is more than keeping up with the guy turning them into bricks. And I can load him up endlessly. I just need him to turn the stones into bricks much, much, much quicker. As much fun as it would be to watch him stack up the next 58 stones, we're gonna sell at least a few of those. We'll go 10% at a time. That way we don't sell all the bricks. We'll sell just enough to have ourselves a little party. Now we got 259 coins. We can upgrade this one more time. And now apparently we need to build a crane to build this higher, despite the fact we have a nice little home as it is. Tap the forest to chop wood. Okay, we're gonna chop things down the same way we have to do on the other side, so we have more resources to deal with now. It works very much in the same way. Wood goes in, this guy turns it into planks, and he built a crane out of it. So we need a crane and the stones. I can also sell planks for 18. Those are really valuable. Okay, we're gonna be a plank dealer from now on. I just need to make sure that all of my morons are adequately supplied with either wood or rocks. And while we're doing this, the bricks are also piling up really nicely. So I'm going to sell 10 of them for 50 coins, and that's going to give me the money we need to upgrade the lumber mill once. It's going to cut down by 5%. But then I'm going to use all this wood to replace all the planks, and then I'm probably going to sell the planks for profit because you can never have too much money. Labor and resources don't build towers, money does. So if I sell all of those, there's, uh, yeah, we're selling 50% at a time, but that's still giving us lots of money. We did, however, use all of our resources, so it's time to get some more. If I do this, I'm going to get extra wood from Tap. It costs $100. I think that's going to be worth it. Wood's obviously going to take a little while, but it's going to make me more money in return, so it's a good investment. And the crane is slowly getting higher and higher and higher. As he hoists that wood up, he's putting it somewhere. Now he's got all the planks he could ever hope for. And I'm also going to upgrade the stone transporter. That's only 40, 60 coins. Oh, no, he's got an automatic transporter. So as soon as there's stones, someone carries them over for me. So I'm going to need to upgrade the transporters a lot because that takes out a big part of my job. I know I'm already not really doing much as a manager, but if I can do even less, I'm going to, like any good manager. There's a request for 10 bricks, so we're going to give him 10 bricks. Now he's going to skate them over himself and we're going to watch him build it up. 10 bricks should hopefully make a really big difference. We're not to the moon yet, but we're going to get there. Okay, 10 bricks might only equal one brick at this point. So there's another 20 logs we're going to feed to our log guy, which will turn into very nice and more importantly, valuable planks that we're going to be able to sell for 800 coins. Yes. And then I'm going to upgrade the transporter for the logs. It's going to get expensive, but eventually this should be happening automatically. It might already be there. Yep, we already have automatic log moving and he'll carry three at a time. So I'm also going to upgrade the speed of the guy turning the logs into other things. Now it's a pretty automated operation. I just need to harvest the materials themselves. Everyone else takes care of the rest. We've already swamped our precious workers. We're producing resources way faster than they can refine them. So the cure for that is selling more planks for another 740. Then upgrading these little morons so they go all the quicker. And now we're about to do two bricks per turn. So his production has actually gone way, way, way up. So I need to work hard to beat him with more stuff. So I'm also going to increase my uh, brick mining power, the raw power. Oh, now we even have a miner doing it automatically. Oh, this is going to get so much easier. Now the left side is all automated, so it's doing its own thing, so I can go back to using wood for money. You might ask yourself why we're building a tower, and the answer is, I don't know. Just because we can. I mean, how else are we going to find out what's in the sky? The crane operator looks like he's really enjoying himself. He's the hardest worker of all. I piled up another 57 planks that I'm straight up going to sell for 1,000. Because I really want to upgrade my forest cutting and I want it so it's automatic. There we go, we have our first lumberjack. 
I'm going to upgrade him anyway, just because I can at this point. So now once I build up a bit of a wood stockpile, everyone's going to be working along and they should be pretty self-sufficient for a while, so I really don't have to do much of anything anymore. Then I'm going to save up a bit more money to upgrade my lumber mill. Probably going to need another thousand dollars, but I want him to be able to produce two planks at once. 60 planks is $1,100. That's a good enough for one, two upgrades, and that's perfect. He's now producing two logs every cycle. So I've left them 100 wood to slowly stockpile into planks. Now I'm going to top up the stones. But I'm also going to upgrade the stone mining power. I had no idea buying people was still so cheap. Well, they're probably not really going to need my help anymore, so let's start the stone rampage. So that guy can get working, we're going to rapid fire the tower for a few bricks. That's working pretty well. We've jumped them well ahead on the bricks. I'm going to push this all the way up to 100. I guess 90 now because he took 10. I've got two miners over here, so they're fine on the left side. All we need work on is the right side because that's our money maker anyway. Now we got 132 planks. That's worth $2,400. I'm going to spend that on my lumberjacks because I would really like a second chopper, which we're about to get. We're chopping wood quicker, so I'm going to upgrade my uh, lumber smith guy again so he's going to turn them into wood faster. Same with my brick guy. Those guys are the biggest uh, slowdown we have right now. The bottleneck is these two idiot workers. Other than that, things are working along very well. Look how big our tower got in the background. And we've harvested the wood again for 1500 because I really want to get these upgraded to the point where they're producing three per thing. So for the bricks at least, in order to turn two into four, it only takes 848. So now we're producing four bricks. So our little guy who needs to help uh, moving it along is probably going to need some extra capacity. So we got two miners, he'll move three at a time and he'll produce four bricks every one of his little cycles. So now when I hold this down also we're making bricks mega fast. But I need about $5,000 to do the same on the wood side so I'm going to sit here and hold this down for a while. Turns out we need to replant the forest, we actually need to, need to use water to make the forest come back. One day I will hire a man just to carry water for me, but for now, the forest will survive. Oh, and our second layer tower is done, and we got a gift of $4,000. Uh, that works out really good because I want to sell some of my planks to put us over 5000 That way I can uh, increase my plank creator, he'll now produce four. And we have good timing on that because now we need the planks to build ourselves back up. I can also make the crane go quicker apparently, so that's interesting, I just shake it dangerously. And since the rock miners are pretty cheap so far, we're going to give them a few upgrades. Pretty soon we'll get another one again, there's three of them now. I'm going to bring my tree log carrier up a level 2, that way he can carry just a little bit more. And my stone miner guys are going to get another level up. So let's see if that seems to be accurate. 120 bricks going up, and yep, they fill one spot. So to fill that whole thing is going to be thousands. I guess now might be a good time for a two minute skip. Uh, okay, just fast forwards it for two. Oh, that's interesting. No, that works for me. Okay, I'm going to slow this down a little bit. We've uh, mined 1,000 rocks, so I need to put the water back and then we're going to do the same with wood. They insta-chop my tree though, that's so annoying. I'm also going to uh, increase my brick maker's level again, probably a few times if I can, because I really need them making bricks, because bricks are really slow to make right now. Okay, enough of the trees. I'm just going to up the mine a whole bunch. We're going to obliterate this forest. Forest is already gone. I'm not sure if this is helping or not. Uh, there's another $4,000. I get a few Christmas bonuses from the windows along the way, so we've actually saved up $9,000. That's going to allow me to uh, increase my brick maker uh, from 4 to 8 bricks per cycle. I don't even want to look like what it's going to take for this guy. If we go to next, it's only 6300 That's not that bad. If I just sell a few of my planks, that's actually going to get us right where we need to be. Uh, maybe I read that wrong, because I thought next level would uh, have him producing more. It makes him a lot quicker, but he's not producing any more at that point. The next level is for 18000 well, whatever the case, he's still a lot quicker. I also need to step up my stone transport guy because he can't keep up with the demand of this stonesmith. Luckily, we forever have a lot of planks to sell, which means my little he's going to go from 3 up to 14 if we buy that. So we absolutely bought that. That makes him really overpowered for now. 14 bricks per time. I finally managed to battle the lumberjacks. I've got the forest almost complete. So in saying that, I'm going to do this again. That way we can rapid fire mine some wood. That is going to give me the money though to upgrade my uh, lumber mill so he's producing 8 planks at a time instead of 4 so we've doubled his production. And thanks to a nice window bonus we're back up to $10,000 already. We're still a little bit slow in our brick production considering how many we're going to need so I'm going to spend $5,000 plus $7,000 knocking his speed down by about 15%. And yeah, we're going to sell all of our planks for $1,900. That way we can upgrade the quarry, the miners themselves. I realize these upgrades are pretty cheap and they do produce something worth money eventually. But we can also go through 25 quick seconds and go like this to really stack up some extra thousands of stone. And we'll take the present in the window for 4,000 and we're also going to clear cut the woods again for the next 9 seconds. Or however long this lasts and we're done. 
Now I need to painstakingly put the trees back, but we got a lot of stone piled up. If I spend all of my money, I can go from uh, four miners to five. The stones from tap is going way up, so we're going to do that. We just need to keep producing stones. We even got a guy up top now. At this point, just the stone alone, yeah, I could sell for 7,000. But if I turn it into bricks, it's multiplied by five. So that'd be $35,000 worth of bricks. And to help them catch up on the stone, I'm manually going to help a little bit. And they need the help because I didn't realize how long the crane takes to lift up a single block. So we're going to be able to stockpile the cubes. So far, I've been holding things down. I decided to try the auto clicker. Look how much quicker this is. We could have been light years ahead of where we are now. I've auto clicked my way up to about 69,000 stones. So now I'm going to transfer those over to our stone cutter. After upgrading him as much as possible, so he'll now move 20 at a time. This is where my plan starts to unfold now. I'm going to push 10,000 stones through the stone mill. As I was rapid fire breaking, we've completed another floor, so we're back to needing planks to build upwards again. Luckily I had stockpiled almost a thousand of them in the background, so we should be in good hands. It turns out for 10,000 coins, I can actually buy a water pump. So now at least I don't have to do my least favorite part of things anymore. I got another present bonus, so that put us up to $23,000. I was going to sell all these bricks, but these are actually a good resource. I can just sell these guys. 60,000 stone for $60,000. This thing just generically says $60,000 to make all the workers quicker. Currently, my brick guy takes 3.64 seconds to do his thing, so let's upgrade that. And it seems like he's still doing it in 3.64 seconds, so I'm not really sure what the point of this was. Do I have to go like this to make it work? I didn't realize that. That only gave them a 10% increase overall. Like, for everyone, that's pretty good, but I was hoping for bigger. So for now, I'm going to spend a few thousand dollars upgrading pretty much everyone, depending on how much their uh, upgrades cost. And then with my remaining $7,000 after the upgrades, I'm just going to upgrade my stone producers because I'm going to leave these guys mining stones for the next 8 hours just like this. And after that small break, we've got 18 million stones. Otherwise known as 18 million dollars. And a free gift. $9,000, that's really going to put me over the top. It's time for some upgrades. So our brick producer, for example, is going to go from 8 bricks at 3.4 seconds to 64 bricks at 1.23 seconds so far. The transport guy is going to go from 20 capacity up to 80, so he's moving four times the bricks. Our stone uh, worker guys, well, they're going to get a big upgrade themselves because this is our money maker. There's now 13 miners. They look like ants all over that thing, and they're producing a lot. We're even going to speed things up here. $20,000 for an upgrade? How could we not? Everyone's going to work so much quicker. And our little watering guys, we need to make sure we're watering the trees faster than we can uh, produce them. And then the lumberjacks, these guys are also going to be money makers for me eventually. Uh, we're going to spend that much money, several million dollars on upgrades. We're going to have nine choppers. And the plank producer, he's making 64 planks every 3.19 seconds. Oh, and our brick guy, actually the next upgrade for 600,000, he'll produce 128 bricks every 1.2 seconds. That's a massive upgrade. We're going to try and find the same with our other guy. We couldn't quite get it, but I do have $1.34 million. I'm just going to spend it on the quarry because we're going to do the same thing again. We're just going to be way further ahead because of it. We've already piled up 21,000 planks. Many, many hours later, we have 223 million stones and 1 million planks. The tower itself is getting pretty tall. I can't even imagine how many stones it takes to place one of these at this point. We'll see if we can see him asking for more. I can't see what it's worth, but they're huge. Judging by the bottom, 80,000, he just took away, wow, 27,000 bricks per brick. So we're going to need a little influx of capital. Uh, I'm going to sell 10% of my stones for $22 million. That should allow us to get some upgrades for this poor guy. Because the guy he's bringing stuff to is able to turn those stones around in a hurry. So we're going to get him lots of upgrades. So as he's working, actually, I guess we can also just go like this. Just so our stone cutter has lots of stones to work with constantly. I spent $20 million singularly on this upgrade, and it's still taking forever. That guy wants 27,000 bricks per brick. But he's now bringing the final brick for this layer to the top. We're going to help it along because it's really, really slow if I don't. But there it goes, up to the top. Now he's going to want a bunch of planks. Luckily, we have a million of them sitting there. I don't know how many he wants or how many he needs. Doesn't seem like a huge amount. We've spent 100,000 planks so far, so it's only going to be maybe a few hundred thousand more. So now they're back to just wanting good old-fashioned bricks to build this tower up even more. Which means we're going to need some upgrades. So I'm going to sell 201 million stones for $201 million. Uh, there's also an option for something down here, an elephant transports much more stone than humans, $100 million. That's interesting. I'm going to buy an elephant. I went to see what kind of discount I could get on an elephant, and it just went ahead and bought it for me, but it did it for half price. But every brick that has to go up there is going to take 483 half a million bricks per brick. But we can also buy a lift engine. That's going to help the lifting process go a lot quicker. It's actually just a windmill. We also have a field. No idea what that does. Costs 150,000. I still have 15 million, 150 million. So this is a cheap one. 
I think that feeds the elephant, so then the elephant's happy. The elephant is wildly expensive. I'm down to $64 million, so I'm going to upgrade my brick worker guy. He costs a few million dollars per upgrade. The transport guy, I'm not going to because that's really expensive. I'm just going to increase the brick producers again. I'm just going to spend the rest of my money right there. Because we need bricks, the best way to get the upgrade is to sit here like this and let the bricks roll in again. And after letting the game run for a long, long time, we have 460 million rocks, 10.5 million rocks sitting here, and 372,000 waiting to go up. But let's see how high the tower has gotten since we've been gone. Turns out it's really, really slow to build a tower at this point. It's not the smallest tower, but I was hoping we'd get through a few more layers. I guess when your elevator moves that slowly, you can't expect much. So what we can do for now is make $230 million from selling all of our stones. Uh, 460 million rather. I was at 50% the first time, and now we can speed things up should we want to. So we're clearly going to need the elephant to transport more bricks. And at level 10, you got a nice jump up to 58,000 per load. Same with my transporter, he's going to go from 224 to 448, so that's a big increase. Our brickmaker himself will go from 256 to 512, that's going to cost almost $10 million, but we can afford it. The drummer's going to make everyone a lot quicker, because we're going to keep leveling him up, that's only a few million dollars each so far, we can afford that. You know what, the rest of the money's going to go into the brick producer, the quicker he can make bricks, the better off we're going to be. So he's going to make 1,000 bricks at a time, it's going to take him half a second. I spent the rest of the money on the transporter, so now we just sit back and relax and let the tower grow for like 10 years and then see where we're at we might get this level done 